to disinfect my feet before I tell you what we wanna do next. I know we've covered we have covered a lot of videos about potato farming, we've done about dairy farming, we've done about uh, so many aspects. But there's one thing that we have not covered and it's very exciting and we'll be very happy to hear about it. This is ornamental birds farming. And this is this in Kenya. You can only find it at Charlie's Farm Naivasha and I did this for you. What I want to tell you, uh, be lady, this is a disclaimer. This is a noisy place. Remember, for the ornamental birds, in here we have more than 30 types of birds, some domesticated, some are wild birds. So you might get some kind of noise, 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 some interruptions. But remember, this is a tour we don't want to miss. So this is more of a tour. We understand what is ornamental bird farming, what are some of the type of birds we have. You can see some of the most beautiful birds in here. So join me. Let's take this tour together as we explore agritourism because this has been brought to you in Kenya. You don't have to go to Masai Mara anymore. Come to Charlie's farm, Naivasha. Join me as we are welcomed by the director. First of all, you see that. You see these, these amazing birds. So, welcome. Okay, now we have our director, Charlie. And the amazing thing, we are at the ornamental birds section. <coughs> In the background, you can hear a lot of noise. I want to remind you, we are in a, say, in a modern forest. We have brought this to you so that you can be able to see the beautiful view that God made for us. It's possible for us to see it in one center. So, Karibu Sana, Director. How are you? You can introduce yourself to our viewers. Yes. We do know one of the in Zulu to be honest. It's courtesy of the Air Force Okay, great. Uh, hi, our viewers. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon from wherever you're watching us from. Uh, my name is Jess Kiara, the CEO and the founder of Charis Farm. Charis Farm uh, is a, an agricultural demonstration farm, as I always tell you. It's a model farm in Nakuru County, and uh, we are along Kinago Road, where we are doing uh, a different uh, type of farming, and we are uh, adapting the technologies and innovation for agriculture. Uh, However, we have the ornamental bat layering as you can see us from here. We also have the giant rabbit layering. We do the daily boards. Uh, we have pig. Uh, we also have a uh, uh, We do a potato and so many, many things we do in the farm. Thank you so much for allowing us in this center. Yes. Uh, like I said, I'm happy to see this. this yeah. So, what is the Uh, we have the log bus and we also have the domesticated 
bad. So you just uh, have the uh, license from our uh, the breast, and also you need now to do the good cages. And now you can be able to wear different types of bags. Uh, yeah. So like how many are you talking about? Uh, we have uh, like 30 species of bags. Uh, and around uh, 250 bags. Yes, yes. I think now you can take us to the see and understand some of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you know, we have different uh, varieties. Uh, some are imported uh, types of uh, leaves. Uh, we have the silk bantam from Asia. We also have the black bantam. It's a very unique bird. Uh, actually, it's a giant roaster, weighing up to 9 kg. We also have the black mutique from Indonesia, uh, one of the uh, unique birds. Uh, I also have the kuchi bantam uh, from India, uh, Polish bantam uh, from Korat. And you can see also we have the peacock that is big and good peacock. From India also. Uh, we also have the local pheasant, uh, we have Americana, those are the birds that play uh, color eggs. We have the vulturine, I don't know whether you the vulturine uh, uh, in our country somewhere. I would say they don't exist. Okay, they can stay a, a, long, a, a, a very long time without taking water. And at some point in our life, So we have different uh, varieties of birds here. And the uniqueness of these birds, uh, when it comes now to diseases, uh, they are resistant to diseases. So you will not uh, see that like your birds are affected with a lot of many diseases as we normally know in other birds. And um, also, <coughs> compared to normal chickens, but they are also very expensive. Yes. Okay, so that explains maybe the way the, I, I see the security. The security is tight and yes. the way they are. <coughs> uh, because I was requesting maybe to get a, a photo inside there and I was told, no, maybe for some reasons we yeah. might. We might attain that. Yes, yes. I think I also had to tell our viewers because yes. I, I know that we need to have very clear pictures. Exactly, because uh, whenever you have uh, animals in a farm, uh, you need to look at biosecurity uh, because now somebody can come and bring diseases and you are going to face a uh, loss. So the other thing is about maybe you can do a, a good fencing whereby nobody can steal your, uh, your animals or something to do with that. And the other thing is be all over, which means we can be able now to, to land the farm even at night or even when you are far. Uh, telephone farmers sure, who have been called, oh, kuku ime kuku, oh, siji ime fanya. So, exactly. So, it's good also to ensure that all the security measures are well done and properly done. So, for, uh, I understand we have the domesticated in some of the Yes. Have you had a challenge of adaptation? <coughs> Uh, not really, because uh, there is a way you are supposed to train them uh, so that uh, they can uh, they can adapt to the area. Also, you have to learn about how to keep them, so that you can know uh, how to keep them. And that is why you can see even our our birds are all in cages to ensure that they don't fight, they don't intimidate each other, one another, and control them in uh, different ages. Because remember, you cannot put all the chickens together. Uh, a lot of um, uh, 
visitors who will be coming to visit the farm. Uh, whereby people even foreign us would come and tour and see different types of birds despite being diverse and being diverse. We have something unique that people can come over and see and which means that if we can get uh, to have small small farms all over the county we can even generate income and also revenue to the county. Definitely. Yeah. So it's like you are contributing to the community. Yeah, the exactly. So to our viewers, you see, I've made the first step to, to give you this tour for free. But now for you to get the, the most best view, you have to visit Charles Farm. Yes. And I want to encourage you to come because it's a nice place to be. Mm. And it's so therapeutic. And you see, there are a lot of benefits to, to, to come and see what is happening. Yes. Maybe you can maybe point out some of the parts mm. as my cameraman to be zoom screen. So that at least we can have a, You know, the words, have, they are very hard for some of us. But at least when we see the, the, the picture of maybe Ule Mnyama, there's a nice sun of a day fire, you know. So these are food and blue people. Actually they are most they are the most expensive birds okay. and they are the most beautiful birds. Okay. Yeah, peacock uh, can go up to twenty five years lifespan. Okay. So <laughs> So most likely they are some birds here are older than some of the viewers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. They take a, a very long time to be. The uniqueness of Kuchi is just a small bit. Okay. Yeah. And this looks like one of the, 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 the types of the, the people are in the bar. Mm. Okay. We also have the freezer of <laughs> <laughs> From Asia, is one of the black meat chicken, and also we have the Polish bantam from Horat. Without forgetting the Brahima chicken, the uniqueness is that far and also being now the, the giant, that giant. This is a uh, ayam uh, simani. It's a black meat chicken from Indonesia. I don't forget it also lays black eggs. Actually, I overheard that and I was so much eager to see a black egg. Yeah. Okay. Everything about it is black apart from blood now. Okay. Even the meat is so black like taco. Mm. Mm. I feel like having seen some of the birds, uh, I think we can leave the rest for, for our cameraman to be able to has that for us. Yeah. And uh, I really encourage again and again. Mm. All the other people are more of education. But mm. this one is more of it's a tour. I it's think this is a tour. This wraps up the learning experience. So I believe this is a reason as to why you have to visit. And we, these are some of the things that we have to adopt. Exactly. And I think it also brings the aspect of the government. I have seen the government as a manager. I think now this is closer to the uh, this is like How do you manage the That has been the amazing tour at Charis Farm bird, ornamental bird section. And we want to have the bird in short with our director. Maybe she can invite you. She can tell you what are the services they offer at Charis Farm. Why you visit. Why will you be so well accommodated. And maybe if you have any question or something that you feel we never touched. You can always reach out to us. On top of that, we are also going to do uh, a, a video or a part of the video without an audio so that you can still enjoy the beauty of Charlie's farm and have the chance or the desire to visit us. So, Madam Director, you can uh, maybe have a word with you. Uh, our viewers, you are there, you are watching us. Uh, we'd like to encourage you about farming. Farming is a business like any other business, and anybody can do the farming. Uh, despite the size of your pocket, the size of your lad, the size of where you are living, even in 
a rental house, you can still do farming. Let us start working on our passion because uh, if you, are, you have passion and you're not working hard on it, nothing will happen our viewers. Uh, so here in Chinese Farm, we do uh, training for farmers and people with interest. We also do outreach program. We do uh, empowerment. And currently now we have started uh, counseling and uh, uh, spiritual uh, empowerment and nourishment. Because we also believe even if you get a lot of things and a lot of uh, money, you also need God. And if you have a lot of them and you don't have God, you don't have money. So we have started that currently. We are encouraging our, our young people. We are empowering them spiritually and also economically. And you can reach us uh, through uh, 0714. 731 476 0714 731 We have a Facebook page by the name Charis Farm, uh, MPS Naivasha, and we also have a YouTube channel by the name uh, Charis Farm Official. Uh, you can reach us uh, anytime, any comment is welcome, and uh, come and see for yourself because we believe Mkurima ni macho. So, Tabea, the farm is open from Monday to Saturday. You can just visit us and see for yourself. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. We really appreciate from the TV. And we are here together with you. We grow together for the benefit of our people in Kenya and the world. Thank you so much thank for you. taking your time. As I know you are a busy little serving everyone. Yes. And thank you for taking your time to speak to our farmers. Yes. And I know they now feel welcome So to our dear followers, that was our tour, our agri tour at Charis Farm. I know you enjoyed. And let's keep farming. Kulima, 